Yes, an estimated uh, 40 million small and medium enterprises are said to be home in Nigeria, Africa's largest and most populous country. But the challenges faced by the uh, SMEs are numerous, including uh, credits and uh, finance and, and a whole lot of other issues. But let's uh, just chat a bit more now to Olushaye uh, Seton. He is the co-founder and the chief growth officer at uh, Vendor Credit. He's live with me here in our uh, Lagos studios. Good evening. Good evening, boss. Great to have you. Uh, SMEs, SMEs. Tell me, what are the key issues within the value chain in Nigeria for SMEs that are one-man business, very small, but they have a lot of play in the whole value chain? What are the, do you think the key challenges are in your interactions and, and business dealing with them? First of all, thank you for having me. Um, the challenges can be split into two major areas. Um, they are the systemic challenges that um, SMEs face. Um, issues around infrastructure, lack of infrastructure. You have issues around um, rising prices, which is driven by inflationary pressures, FX um, devaluation that is going on, and growing energy prices as well. Now, in, within this, the value chain slash supply chain industry as well, um, which, cuts, which is industry agnostic and cuts across all industries, mm -hmm. you have challenges that are endemic within it. So you have issues around receipt of payments, um, a lot of corporates usually don't pay as at when due um, for these SMEs. You also have issues around information asymmetry, mm -hmm. right? Um, the SMEs don't have enough information to make decisions around the corporates that they're doing business with, what their payment terms look like, how they deal with other people as well. Mm -hmm. You also have issues around um, th which the corporates also face because they don't have enough information to make decisions as to um, if these SMEs are capable of you know, doing the transactions that they want to hand over to them as well. Um, you also have issues around access to credit uh, because the, com the payments don't come in as I when due. Um, you know, that co causes a little squeeze on the cash flows of the SMEs. And if they go to the existing financial institutions, the processes and procedures they need to follow to access credit um, proves to be cumbersome and challenging. Mm -hmm. So um, there are a lot of other issues. So, so, so it's, it's a bit difficult yeah. doing business uh, as an SME in, in Nigeria, technically much. speaking, uh, across all fronts. Yeah. But again, credit seem to be on top of the pile if you put everything up and right. you stack them up. So everybody would pick credit first and say, well, they, need, they, need, they need money. How do I resolve it? Mm -hmm. uh, for example, if you, if you deliver to a multinational, for example, and you don't get paid in 30 days or 60 days if there's a policy, uh, you, 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 you're cash trapped. So my, my point is, how could the position of the SMEs be, be strengthened and what innovations in finance are possible for, for them? Can you trust the SMEs, for example? Yeah, I mean, we, we have no other alternative than to support and trust the SMEs. Um, I mean, seven, nine out of ten businesses, SMEs like you mentioned earlier, um, they account for over seven out of the ten um, people that are being employed in the country. So it's a critical segment that we cannot afford to take our eyes away from. And um, like you also mentioned, accessing credit is very critical for them. Mm -hmm. And we need to look at innovative ways, right, to use data that is available either traditionally, financial data and alternate mm -hmm. data as well, mm -hmm. to be able to ascertain whether or not these SMEs are credit worthy, right, and build a scorecard that would give you some sort of predictive analysis on how these guys will perform when you put credit in their hands. Um, I think part of the, a lot of people have come to the SME space to lend, but there are two various types of lending that occur right now. You have the um, consumption lending, and you have the um, income generation slash production lending. So what I would want to focus on, or what I advise my colleagues in the space to focus on, is more on the income generation slash production lending, because well, it's- What are you guys focusing on at uh, Vendor Credit? income generation slash production lending. Explain that to me in, in 30 seconds. So basically, it's the ability to give them funds to be able to generate additional income. Mm. And from that income, they can take care of whatever the expenditures that they might have, they can grow, and they become more sustainable as an institution. So giving them funds in that direction doesn't just allow them to survive, it allows them to thrive as well. Well, well um, FinTech and, and digital um, our players are all here. So. Um, do you think this is the this new wave of fintechs and digital pay, uh, uh, providers uh, are the new solutions for small and medium enterprises in Nigeria who are aimed in between a big uh, 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 multinationals on this side and the other side, and they don't, we don't want to squeeze them out, life out of them, as it were? Well, the reality is the jury is still out there. Um, 
at, at the end of the day, we need to keep plugging at the problem until we're able to ultimately solve it. Um, I think the act, lack of data has been a challenge prior to now. One of the good things about fintechs going into that space is that a lot of people that never had credit history are now having credit history. And with that data, it makes it easier for whether established players or new players that are going into that space to make lending decisions that will ultimately benefit the entire segment on the end of the day. But, but what are we seeing, are you guys beginning to see, uh, as a professional in this industry, are you beginning to see the needle being moved that the SMEs are beginning to benefit from all hands on deck, from, from in particular for those of you who are bringing innovative way of uh, funding, using more data and every other thing, uh, the credit registry system and what have you. Are, you. are we beginning to see something change as far as MSMEs in, in Nigeria? The president just signed a business facilitation law just a few days ago, and we just finished talking about it, Dr. Duale. Do, do you think something is more beginning to move? Yeah, it's, it's slow, but there's progress. Um, and I, I'd, I'd record where the progress ultimately lies for me still remains in funding transactions, right? Um, it's, it's, a, it's an arduous process. It's a problem that has existed for decades, if not centuries, right? And, you know, the fact that everybody is now focusing in that direction, ultimately we're going to see um, the kind of traction that we expect to see from. Mm. So what does it need to be done? What, what are you folks looking at for the new year? It's an election year. There's no cash now on the street. Do you guys have cash? <laughs> Nobody has cash. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody has cash. I mean, and it's... it's, it's this is going to be a tough time for, for, for SMEs. Definitely. Um, for the mom and pop shops, for the transporters, mm. these are difficult times. For the farmers in the markets, you know, in the fields, in the mm. farms, mm. and offshore. Uh, you know, in the distant areas, accessing cash to be able to sell items, you know, it's a challenge because we're still a predominantly cash-driven economy. But we understand what the CBN is trying to do as well, because at the end of the day, when you push people into the system where we can gather data around them, mm. and we gather financial history and financial information, it will ultimately be to their benefit because with that information, we can make sound lending decisions mm. and be able to, you know, provide the level of credit that they need. And that's what we're trying to do. All right. Well, Sutton, a co-founder and chief growth officer at um, Venno Credit. Thank you so much for your time. Thank uh, you we're so going to touch base with you as the days go ahead. Thank you so Thank much you for so coming, much. Uh, uh, adding to the conversation around the small and middle.